Hey guys, we'll begin the tour outside this stunning home set in the Jumeirah Golf Estates. You have the driveway which leads up to the front door and either side of the property you have a walkway which leads to the back garden. Now right next to the main door you have the automated garage and the exterior of the property you have that white marble which is complemented by that cream stucco finish. Now if you're new to the channel, my name's Nesta and I tour some of the most luxurious homes in Dubai and around the world. So before we head inside, please like and subscribe to our channel. Now, let's go in. So if you want to come into the lobby, I'll leave the specs of the home in the bottom corners and the current market price. And I also want to thank BCI for allowing us to tour this amazing creation that they've done. So let's begin with the features that we have in the lobby. Obviously the most prominent one is this tree right in the center with those double height ceilings above and that chandelier hanging down. I love those black railings, how they contrast with those sort of light earthy tones that we have throughout the whole home. Down we have the Lithuanian wooden floors and right behind me you can see that continues all the way upstairs and into the basement. And you also have a sneak peek onto that view in the background. Right there is an entrance to the staff quarters. We're going to start the tour in the office. Along the way I want to show you, so this home is not fully completed yet. So there are some small details but I'll show you around them anyway. This is the lift so they've, what they've done is they've used this wood to cover the metal frame of the lift so it fits nicely in with the whole home. The next door we have is the water closet. Now I love what they've done with it, how they've used that blue to contrast with that white marble. And if you want to come in with me, I've not seen one of these in Dubai yet. These look like those Victorian blinds which are pushed to open. Now underneath we have that floating vanity and this cool little Japanese designer. Is that Japanese? I don't even know. Now if you want to head with me into the office, you can see this is a custom made office desk in the center. Now you will see that's a prominent feature throughout this whole home. There is a lot of custom made furniture. In the back we have a seating area and this storage space behind matches with that wood that we have in the lobby area. Obviously this office comes with an ensuite. So this is our first bathroom with a full ensuite. Now immediately I want to talk about this vanity. This is beautiful the way they've designed it with that sort of exposed rough rock on the front and that smooth countertop with that dark wood underneath. Goes so well and I love how the sink just sits atop of it. Also we have that full walk-in shower with those bronze details here in the back and the water closet. Now as we head back through the lobby, I want to tell you a bit more about this home. This home was built with sustainability in mind. So the top of this home is covered with solar panels, so a lot of the electricity can come from that also. And there's another feature which is in the garage, which I'm going to talk about a bit later. So right in the center of the home, we have this formal seating area. Now I want to talk about these earthy tones that they've used throughout the home. It feels so calming, which is complemented by those wooden floors. Now you can even see the fan above is made out of wood, which sort of matches that whole theme. So this side of the home, we have the kitchen. Right behind me, you can see those views onto the golf course. Now they've used those earthy tones just because that view in the back you can feel it's more sort of a desert theme and you can see the browns and the greens that they view in that view and they've built this home to, just to match that kind of theme. Right here is two archways which lead into the informal lounge. Now you have the fireplace as well which is shared between the two spaces. Now this is the barn as the designers have called it. Now it's because of the wood that is prominent throughout. You can see it through the ceiling and that wooden fan as we saw in the formal seating area. Now in the center we have this seating area with the custom made coffee table and the side table. Here in the back this elongated window brings in so much natural light with this green marble countertop here. This looks stunning that marble veins that run through. Towards the back you have these floor to ceiling glass windows which open up all the way onto that view. Now I'll talk about that in a second. As we head down into this sunken area, we have the bar which is fully kitted out. You have the chairs at the front and equipped with the wine cooler and fridges. 
Now you can feel that this in and out experience is continued from the barn area as we have that wood on the ceiling, you have that on the decking outside. Just before we head out, there's this small little seating area here with another one of those custom made travertine coffee tables. Now you'll see that each side of this home has its own in and out flow. So this side you have the informal lounge which is connected with the fire pit. Now you can see this is really unique because this actually uses real wood. At the back here we have a bar with this travertine countertop and that laser cut wood design underneath fully equipped with these fridges. Now this place is fully kitted out to entertain and I know I've talked about earthy tones earlier but this is all continued through the outside so it matches that backdrop that we have which I'm going to talk about in just a second. They've used the gravel throughout and the pool, they've designed it with the stone facade. Now another detail before we head to the other side of the home, you have chairs inside the pool. So even when you're entertaining, you have some people swimming, you can serve them drinks up in here. Now let's head to the other side. Now I wanna talk just a little bit more about this pool. You can see they haven't used those sort of bright blue tiles that you usually would find, so it doesn't stick out too much. Just because of the calmness that you feel. They have those stones around the edges and what you can also see, they have built-in speakers made by Bose, so it's really good sound quality. Now, right at the front of the pool, there's also these wooden beams that they've used to connect the two wings. On this side now, again, that in and out flow that we had on the other side, this is made for that whole dining experience. So you have a pergola with a custom-made table underneath, made from that travertine, and it's quite minimalistic, so it doesn't take away from that backdrop. We have another bar here with that travertine countertop and that laser-cut wooden design. And of course, for me, you know, I love my barbecues. So we have a full setup here with a grill and a hot plate, everything that you'd need. Now, I want to show you one final cool feature that we have is outside, there's this shower that they've used that wood throughout. And obviously I'm here as well, not just because of the shower, but that view behind. We're in this Jumeirah golf course. This is a world renowned golf course, which they use for World Cups, which I'm not quite sure that's the right terminology. I'm not a massive golf fan. Right now we're on location. We're looking at something that we should be filming, should be done by next Friday. You can see this is right on the golf course. There's a tournament going on right now. Really excited to be filming. This place is stunning. I can't wait to show you guys. But you can see it's so nice with that greenery in the back. You actually don't feel like you're in Dubai. And I just want to mention that lake that we have. Now let's head into the kitchen for that full in and out flow. Now you can see if you wanted to host a party, you could have these two places connected. Right in the center, we have this formal dining table, which is custom made out of travertine with the chandelier above. Here is the entrance from the formal seating area that we saw earlier. Now this is a pocket sliding door which slides all the way into the wall. I've not seen one of these before, especially this big. Now with that you could obviously separate yourself from the rest of the house if you're hosting some sort of thing. This leads all the way into the kitchen. Now this is the show kitchen. We do have a Dirty kitchen in the bathroom I'm going to show you, but we have a marble countertop right in the center with a convection cooktop right at the front. There's a bar area which you can have your breakfast in the mornings. You also have a push to open convection oven, which is crazy. You have these fridges and freezer underneath, so much storage. Also, one thing I want to mention is this tablet here. Now, with this tablet, you can control all the lights in your whole home. Now this is the staff wing of the home which you can access from the lobby also. We have the dirty kitchen here which is also fully kitted out. You have the entrance towards the back as well. So if you remember those solar panels that I was telling you about, there's a ladder which heads all the way up to the rooftop. So once someone comes to clean it, which they do I think every so often, they can come in through the service entrance and not bother anyone in the home. As we head further down, now this is a unique thing that I haven't seen. If you follow me this way, this is what for me, I would imagine I'd see in a sort of cottage back home in England. So you have sort of, as an entry point, this is where you can sort of take muddy shoes off if you've been out in the fields, but you don't really have that here. So if you've been out in the desert or out on the golf course, you can come in here, take your dirty stuff off. They have one of those like cottage sinks in here, and this is equipped for your laundry and everything else. Further down the corridor, we have the maid's room and the water closet, which looks stunning with that floating vanity. Right at the end of the corridor is the entrance to the garage. Now, in there, we have the hydro filtration system. Now, we talked about sustainability earlier. This is another one of those features. So what it does is it uses the water from the shower and the toilet and refilters it so you can use it again. And it's nice that they had that in mind while building this home. So now let's head to the basement to see what other goodies we have.
Now landing down here, it's a bit of a change in mood from those wooden floors, it's tiled throughout, so it's a little bit cooler. Now as I mentioned, there are still some bits to be finished off, so the room here is not quite ready, but you have the lift, which heads all the way up to the top floor from here. And down this corridor, we go by this beautiful painting, which heads into the fully equipped gym with state-of-the-art equipment all set out. You have these sort of softer floors as well for your training. Now, above here, we have a skylight, which brings in some of that natural light, and those mirrors reflect it, so it's a little bit more brighter in here. Also, we have an entertainment area here, so with storage and seating, a table tennis table, and in here, just like you would find in a pub, you have those darts, actually. Let's have a go. We uh, usually when we go somewhere, we'd like to have a go. So let's see if I can get a bullseye from here. It's been a while since I've done this. Ooh, that wasn't bad actually. It's been a while back in my pub days. Anyway, we'll continue the tour onto the TV room before we get in there. If you want to follow me, come here. I want to show you this is the sort of ensuite shower that you have that accompanies the gym. So when you're training down here, and we have a water closet just through here. But if you follow me through this door, right in the center, we have this settee, or I don't even know whether to call it a settee. It's more of like a massive bed. You can fit at least 10 people on here. You can also see those wall mounted lights. Now they create this really cool effect with the sort of design that they have. At the front, obviously the TV and the seating area underneath. So you could use this to socialize down here as well. We have storage here at the back if you need it with a microwave inside. So if you wanted to get your popcorn done, you don't have to go all the way upstairs. Now let's go back up to the lobby and I'm gonna show you the rest of the bedrooms. Now, as we head up, I wanna show you a couple of features. So at the bottom of the stairs, you have this rounded entryway and on the stairs, you have two skylights which bring in more of that natural light into the home. At the top of the stairs, you can see that chandelier hanging down on top of that tree and those dark railings I was talking about when we started the tour. You have the office here, but we're gonna to tour the guest bedroom first. You have the wooden bed in the center with those sort of log side tables either side above the chandelier, which sort of looks like one of those wicker baskets. You have the storage on the other side, and obviously you have to have the ensuite bathroom with the full walk-in shower and one of those floating vanities with that sink sitting atop. Now let's head to the other side of the home. Along the way, we have the office right in the center. And this is a really unique office that I've not quite seen till now. We have these double height ceilings again, but they've used that wood to cover it. This actually feels like you're in a barn. <laughs> and you have that office desk in the center with a leather chair in the back and those wall lights that we saw in the cinema downstairs, the TV room, not the cinema. Now, if we move along to the other side, so this is, I'd say, the guest wing of the home down this way. This is another guest bedroom, again, with the wooden bed in the center and that wicker basket chandelier that we saw and also a working desk. Now, in this one, we have a walk-in. So if you wanna move around, there's a walk-in closet made from that same sort of wood that we've been seeing throughout the whole home. You have even space for your shoes here. And the ensuite bathroom, this time you have a bathtub. Also with the walk-in, you have that floating vanity with that sink sitting on top. Again, those bronze details are amazing throughout these bathrooms. Now, follow me around this way. We're gonna head into the guest wing of the home. Also, another cool detail, we have another skylight. So we have so much natural light being brought into this home. Along the way, we have some storage on the sides and now we're entering into the guest wing. So we have a door which blocks it off and a lot of people here have guests over like parents and stuff like this. So it's built with that in mind that they can come over and they have this sort of own privacy when sort of they're staying with you. The first room here is the kids room. So you have that really cute bed in the center, which also comes with that walk-in wardrobe and the ensuite bathroom. So this is one of those turnkey properties where everything is already set out for you, all the decorations, everything. Once you buy it, this is how it comes, but you can obviously change it to however you would like it as well. Now this is the guest wing bedroom. You can see that we have a lot more light in here coming in because the sun's coming down right now. Also, this is a really unique bed frame that we see. So they've built that wood into the ceiling and onto the backboard with those side tables either side we also have another walk-in closet with the ensuite bathroom. 
with a full rain head and that floating vanity. Now let's head back across the other side. I'm gonna show you the junior bedroom. This is the entrance. You have the primary bedroom on the other side. But before we head in, there's one last feature that we have up here. This is sort of a wet kitchen. So it's, you have your fridges, you have the storage and the sink so you don't have to go downstairs. Now in the junior bedroom, first we see the walk-in closet here at the back with the working table. And we have that same sort of bed design that we had in the guest wing. So you have that wood covering the ceiling and the backboard. They've used that travertine side tables. Now these are also made customly. But it's a different energy in here because you can see we have that view in the back with the balcony. So let's head outside to take a look. So as I said earlier in the tour when we were touring the backyard, you have people playing constantly throughout the day. So you can see them, they come up and that's actually the tee off just there. Again, I'm hoping I'm using the right terminology, but that's where they tee off from. And you can see all the buggies going around. This is such a nice place to live. Now, finally, we have the ensuite bathroom. So this one also has a bathtub and one of those floating vanities. I love how all the floating vanities have that exposed rough rock on the front of it. We have the walk-in shower on this side and the water closet on the other. Now, if you want to follow me just to get a feel for the home. So here we are. This is the entrance to the primary bedroom. We have a pivoting door, which is sort of unique. I've not seen something like that before. We have wooden floors throughout. In the center, we have the bed setup, but it's a super sized versions of the ones that we've seen till now. Looking out onto that stunning view. So above you have that wood which is across the ceiling and the backboard and the bed itself has those sort of soft cushioned edges. Now this way is the walk-in closet and you have a his and hers but I'm going to show you the ensuite bathroom first if you want to follow me. You have the grey travertine throughout and this jewel floating vanity with those sinks sitting atop that countertop and these oval mirrors which are quite unique. Now I'm sure this is something that we haven't seen. This is an entrance into the walk-in shower, you have a his and her size, you don't have to be fighting over it in the morning with that freestanding tub in the back. So back through the bedroom, you can see that's the entrance to the her side, this is the his side. You have the marble island in the center with the seat, all that storage with the recessed lighting here in the back. Now if you come in with me, they have a, we have a mirror separating the two rooms, but you know how we love secret doors. So if you just push this open like this, it leads into the her side which is amazing. Also with that central island in the middle with a seat and we have a vanity table here in the back. Now the final feature and how we're gonna end our tour is the balcony, which looks out onto the golf course. You can see people playing golf right now. This is such a nice feeling with the sun setting. It's one of my favorite vibes that I've experienced touring a home. Now, we also have a seating area here, so you can open this up just like we have the in and out experience downstairs. You can open this up for your bedroom, so you're waking up with that view in the back. A massive thank you to BCI and BBH for allowing us to tour this home. We hope you enjoyed the tour as much as we enjoyed touring it for you. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to this video, and we'll see you in the next tour.